And we're back at it again with another shoe review. I'm Jake Joseph, and today we are reviewing the Lakai Corral. This is going to be the black suede on icy blue body. <laughs> from the same exact silhouette that you had from the 90s. This is the Lakai Corral. And one thing I want to shout out to Lakai before I start talking about this amazing shoe here is that Lakai has thrown in their fall lookbook or their fall catalog, which also turns out into a poster, giving you guys just what's going on with Lakai this season when you purchase a brand new shoe. Maybe it's just for the corrals, I'm not too sure. But either way, I was pretty hyped to see this in there because that's another poster. And it's just pretty sick to have a lookbook or a catalog from any company that wants to do so. So shouts out to you, Lakai, for throwing in that fall catalog for 2020. This is the Lakai Corral. A lot of people who've been skating from the 90s up until now will recognize this shoe. They will see it and be like, dang, this is a throwback and they brought it back. But there are some key changes, some key features that make it stand up to today's standard of skateboarding in 2020. So this Lakai Corral is a slimmed up version from the earlier version, but that doesn't mean that it does not have protection. From the toe box, Going around to the side panel, we do have a suede overlayer over some mesh so for breathability. Going around to the side, like I said again, some suede over some mesh with these nice little plastic areas that head towards your lacing system that are going to help with this new lacing system that companies are rolling out. Or maybe this is something that they rolled out before and they're bringing it back. But it's pretty sick to see. Going back here to the Lakai logo being completely stitched around no leather at all used on this logo, so you can imagine that this logo is going to stay on the shoe no matter what. Going to the heel counter, being made of mesh at the bottom here, mesh at the top here, with a suede overlay with a thick plastic heel cup here to make sure that your heel is nice and stable. Going all the way back around with the same key features that you saw on the side panel or the vamp here on the inside as well. The cool thing about the Lakai Corral as well is that they maintain that nice padded heel counter and that beautifully nicely padded tongue here as well. As you guys have heard me mention before on certain shoe reviews, there are some shoes that did not have a thickly padded tongue. I prefer a more thickly padded tongue just because it adds to the comfort of the shoe, it adds to the fit for me, and it just overall makes it a more comfortable ride throughout the whole entire shoe. So shouts out to Lakai for doing that for the Lakai Corrals because that is amazing to me. So, like I said before, there's mesh throughout the shoe. That does not mean that this shoe will not be durable. This suede here is the same suede that they use on all their shoes. I believe it is also backed by their um, rubber layer. Or Yeah, I believe there's this rubber as well. I believe this suede is backed by their rubber layer as well. And there's a nice thick suede here that goes around the shoe that covers over all the mesh. And the cool thing about it is that these mesh areas are not all the way in your high wear areas. So it's very, very minimal placing on the toe box. You may still possibly hit it, but there's a higher chance that you won't hit this mesh here or the mesh on the side just because of how the suede is placed and how much higher up the suede is placed versus the mesh. But you still have the board feel, you still have the flick and responsive flick that you're looking for with these shoes here. Like I said before, these companies are all starting to use this lacing system where it kind of goes through and comes around with that H shape. Shouts out to Lakai for also doing so because that helps minimize the chance that you will rip through your laces, which means that you don't also need extra laces for the shoe. Only if you want to throw in some aftermarket laces, will you need to do so with the Lakai Corral. This is Lakai's Deluxe Light Insole. 
This is for the cup sole model. So as you guys can see, it's slightly thinner than the ones that you would have in your vulcanized shoe, but don't let that fool you. This will still take impact. It's still that memory foam that companies are starting to recognize is the king for impact. We got thinner foam towards the front for extra board feel. We have thicker foam towards the back for impact protection. But overall, we have it on a thinner model because of Lakai's sole. This is Lakai's XLK sole. This is the sole that they primarily use on all of their cup sole shoes. And the cool thing about it is that you guys can finally see what the sole actually looks like when you're looking at the shoe because of that clear icy blue sole. So as you guys can see here, there's a foam layer that goes right under the upper of the shoe, which sits inside of the sole. That foam layer is made to take in as much impact as possible or as necessary in skateboarding without sacrificing your board feel. So you guys can expect to have amazing board feel in this shoe with amazing impact protection because of Lakai's XLK formula. That formula is basically a foam that just sits inside the shoe. It's kind of injected into the sole of the shoe and then the sole sits on top of that, giving you the ultimate impact protection from Lakai that Lakai can offer. All this is sitting on that super durable XLK outsole so you can expect to be flicking for a long time, feeling the maximum grip that you can in Lakai's and having some amazing stability towards the heel. As you guys can see again, this is a cup sole so you can't really bend the heel much, but you can bend the toes a lot. Don't worry about that though. You can still have amazing board feel in the corrals and you will still have amazing board feel in these shoes as well. The sole has the highs signature zigzag pattern with the nice little treads going through, going down to the very sole of the shoe with the Kai staple flare sign right here on the sole and a little bit of a test feel of that XLK formula. This is the Lakai Corral remastered for 2020s skateboarding. I highly recommend these shoes. These shoes are sick. I've already put them on. I've stepped on my board, feeling out the board with these shoes. It's just been hard to not skate them while I'm skating these DCs because these do feel really, really amazing, guys. So I cannot wait to start skating these guys for you, but I couldn't hold off until I was actually ready to skate these shoes because I want them to be still relevant for you guys when you see this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you know of a friend that needs to check out these shoes, share this video to them because I'm pretty sure that they will find as much information as possible through this video on this shoe without me even skating it to make the decision on if they want to check out these shoes or not. Once again, this is the Lakai Corral Remastered for 2020. I highly recommend you get this shoe. Check it out on Lakai's website or go to your local skate shop and see if they sell Lakai's because they'll most likely have this shoe if they do distribute Lakai shoes. So go on ahead, check these guys out. These are a true size fit as well. So don't you worry if you know what size you normally wear, that would be the size I'd roll with. But a quick tip before I go, if you guys want to make sure you always get your true size, look at the centimeter size of all the shoes that fit. If the centimeter size is completely accurate throughout every single shoe to what you normally buy, like let's say for me, I'm a size 27 centimeter. Through all of my shoes, they all say 27 centimeter if they fit me. And that's always worked when I'm picking out shoes and it's always helped me get the right size for my shoes. If you guys are ever having problems trying to find the right shoes, I know during 2020 it's hard to go try on shoes, it's hard to find shops that are open to try on these shoes or open enough for your time frame. If you need to order online, look at that centimeter sizing, compare it to the centimeter sizing for all the shoes that you've had that fit. If your centimeter sizing is straight across the board, the same size, go on ahead with that centimeter size. It will most likely equate to your true size when it comes to these shoes with Lakai. So yeah, that's it. You guys have an amazing day. Peace out. Everybody's living like the clock don't change. Being comfortable look with into the same old thing. I'll be damned if I am living like this not a better day. It's my time to go and get it. Fuck what anybody say.